When taking photos or filming with available light underwater, setting a custom white balance is critical to getting an image that is as close to true to life colors as possible. But you can't set it and forget it. It's important to set a custom white balance every time your depth or lighting conditions change. Here's the fastest way I found to set a custom white balance on Sony mirrorless cameras. For this example, I'll be using the Sony A7C II, but this will apply to all Sony mirrorless cameras that share the same menu system, like the A7 series, A7R, A7S, and A1. On Sony cameras, you can use really any button to open the white balance menu, but you still need to use the right and center button to set the custom white balance. So if you customize the right button to open the white balance menu, it creates a really quick sequence to capture your custom white balance. Once we're done here, you'll be able to hit the right button twice and the center button twice to set your white balance. All of this takes place in the menu. So go down to the setup menu, operation customize, custom key dial set. And you'll need to do this for either stills or video. You'll need to run through this procedure twice if you want it to work for either modes. Click down to the second page and choose the button that you want to use. So I'll be choosing number three, the right button. Go to the second page, fourth tab, and choose white balance. And that's it. Again, you'll need to do this a second time if you want it to operate the same in both stills and video. Now back on the shooting screen, you can test it out by hitting the button that you assigned. The first time you assign it, you'll need to scroll down to the custom white balance slot. And if you leave it there, it'll open it up every time you press the button. Now that I have that set up, I have my camera in a housing pointing at a white balance card. Underwater, you can use anything that's white or medium gray in a pinch. So I've used my hand, a gray scuba tank, or even the sand at the bottom, and I've gotten good results. With the new setting, I press right to open the menu, right to select custom mode, center to set, and center to accept. For accurate color, you need to set your white balance as your depth and lighting conditions change. I often re-white balance every 10 feet or so, or as cloud cover comes in, or the position of the sun changes. If you have any questions, you can drop them in the comments below, or shoot us an email to ikelite at ikelite.com.